Yo, peace, y'all. What it do? La shame to God. I'm back in effect. Keep low. We back in your area. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. It's called Keep Low on YouTube. That's K W E P slash L O. Yo, feel me, dig me. I know a lot of y'all be coming to my page because I be dropping on fire ass videos on Street Legends and I be giving y'all some real content. And you know, I be dropping education so people can elevate as well. So today, I got a fire ass video for you and it'll really change your life if you utilize the things that i give you in this video and utilize them properly it'll definitely change your life i guarantee you that okay today i'm gonna give you all some real fucking juice that's gonna lift your vibrations up crazy high and have you vibing on some other shit you feel me all right listen to me i want you to walk me on some mental shit on some real shit yo we got 26 letters in the alphabet you know what I mean? And y'all know that I'm an active participant in the 5% nation. So learning my supreme mathematics, I had to learn my alphabet by the numbers. Okay, I'm going to get into that later. Now check it. Listen, letters are energy. So the 26 letters that we have in the alphabet, that is energy. And words, words are synergy. Listen, like I said, we have 26 letters in the alphabet, right? And each one of those is a letter. But when you put two letters together, it becomes a word. Like when you put the I and the S together, it becomes no longer energy, but synergy. Okay, listen to me. Yo, we live on the planet Earth. The planet Earth is the third planet. So we live in the third dimension because we're three-dimensional creatures. We're a spirit in a physical body and we're here in a three dimension. That's why everything on earth is in 3D. Yeah, we live on a beautiful planet, but there's people on this planet that want to control the planet and do all other kind of shit. And how they do that is by keeping your vibrations down. Okay, one way they keep your vibrations down is by the, the views that's being transmitted to you on the television. And another way they do it, and this is a way they really, really do it hard, they do it with the music because they change the vibrations in the music and they change the things around you so it changes your vibration. So the things around you have an effect on you physically. Okay, remember I told you about the 26 letters in the alphabet, right? And the letters and words. So the letters are energy and the words are synergy, right? So there's something called Gamerica. Gamerica is, Gamerica is the numeral counting system of words so gamerica is when like my name is la Shin. l is the 12th letter in the alphabet a is the first letter in the alphabet e is the 13th letter in the alphabet h is the fifth i mean h is the eighth letter in the alphabet e is the fifth letter in the alphabet i is the ninth letter in the alphabet and m is the 13th letter in the alphabet when you total it up it equals 67 six plus seven is one in three that's 13 you feel me so la Shin means master because 13 is the 13th letter in the alphabet is m and it stands for master in the supreme alphabet so my name la Shin means master but like i was telling you about gamerica gamerica is how you total up words and give it a significant okay. meaning. remember i was telling you about vibrations and the music right music used to be vibrating at 44 hertz now 44 is a very important number and i'm gonna tell you okay. why like i told you just say people in my community or different communities they listen to rap and different music right music you count it by bars so most people spit four bars they spit eight bars or they spit 16 bars right now four bars is self-explanatory that's a four and then Four times two is eight. So the eight bars is two fours. And then 16 bars is four fours. You understand? So four is a very important number. And remember I told you music was being controlled by 44 megahertz or 44 hertz, right? And then in 1932, the Rockefellers using all their power in it. So oh, yeah, like I was telling y'all, the Rockefellers in 1932 changed. They said they wanted to change the musical standard from 44 to 55. So ever since then, 55 has been the tuning frequency for all instruments. But listen, 44 hertz 
was a vibration of love, care, compassion, and kindness. So when the Rockefellers implemented the 55 hertz and they changed it for all instruments, the tuning of all instruments, it brought about negativity to our vibration. Okay, so to get back in tune, many people meditate, they do prayer, they do yoga, and they do different Tai Chi and things like that to get back in tune with their high vibration. So like I was telling you, through meditation, Tai Chi, yoga, and prayer, people go into a hemisync. A hemisync is when your the left hemisphere of your brain is syncing with your right hemisphere of your brain and it gives you a balance and then you can elevate to a higher vibrational plane. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an example. You know how like, if you hit a bell, right? When the bell chimes, at first it go ding, and it be like dinging real loud. And then the ding starts going ding, ding, ding. And then you just don't hear it no more, right? Okay, so when we vibrate at a higher vibration, that's when the bell first go ding. So your vibrational, your vibrational vibes that you're giving off and that you got inside of you, that's just supposed to be going ding at all times that's when you're on your highest vibration okay plane. so when you're on your highest vibrational plane that's when you're in tune and when you're in tune with yourself you be in tune with all the things around you so that's like any of your jobs or any of your hobbies or anything that you're really fond of and you're really in tune with yourself you become good at those things so when you become good at them things like if you want to learn how to play the drums or something and you go to a drum instructor the reason why you go to a drum instructor because the drum instructor is really in tune with playing the drums you feel me so that's how you got to be with your higher vibrations in tune with yourself because once you're in tune with yourself you can get in tune with anything okay on another note when you're not in tune and your vibrations ain't high how you feel you feel all down and out of your element. You feel me? And look, you know why we be getting into that? Because we be on some judgmental. We, we be judgmental to people. That's like if you went into a restaurant and if say hypothetically, I went to a restaurant and I just walked in a restaurant and I was the only one in the restaurant that was black. And it was a whole bunch of white people and a lot of them were skinheads. I would just get a tense feeling and like your vibrations would be feeling messed up. And you know why your vibrations would be feeling messed up? Because I'd be judging those people before I actually met them and it would put a block on my thoughts. Cause that's like when you when you making a judgment, you indecisive of your decision. You're not sure of your decision making, so you stop right there to make the judgment. You see, so a judgment to stop. But if you're not judgmental, you go through life different because that's like if somebody's just on some other shit, say they're having a bad day and they arguing with you. They try to argue with you, but if you always got your vibe high, you're just going to fade it. But see, if you don't got your vibe high, when somebody start to argue with you, even if they be the initiator, you're still supposed to fade it with your vibration high. But if your vibration ain't high, then you go down to a lower level, a lower vibration with them, and you just start engaging with the argument with them. And at first, you was a peaceful person. And even though they engaged it, you let them manipulate you to lower in your vibration. So that's why it's always imperative to keep your vibrations high. Yo, so remember... When I told you, if you always keep your vibrations high, that's called being in tune. That's like when you know your mathematics real good, they say the God's in tune. So when you keep your vibrations high, it's called being in tune. And trust me, when you keep your vibrations high and you stay in tune, you're going to shine like new money. Not only going to shine like new money, you're going to shine like a freshly polished diamond. All the material stuff to the side, speaking on another level, you're going to shine like a spiritual being that you are. You're going to shine like a being that's not only from this dimension, but from many more dimensions, higher dimensions. On some real shit, you're going to shine like the stars because you know we made a stardust, right? And that's just some real shit. Yo, this La Shame to God, keep low the company. I just want you to keep your vibrations up on some real shit. That's why I be doing videos like And this. another thing on some real time, real talk, Yo, check it. Every deed that you do, it counts. 
You feel me? So keep your deeds positive because when you be doing negative deeds, it brings down your vibrations. When you do good things like help people or just aiding anybody any way you can and helping yourself and others around you, it's going to keep your vibrations high. Yo, keep loaded company. La shame to God. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. It's called K-E-E-P slash L-O. If you want to get your Keep Low Production shirts and show your support, go to www.keeplowproductions.com. Yo, I love y'all. I wish y'all peace and prosperity and stay the fuck up on some real shit and stay focused. You heard me?